So how do you take someone through the process of going from the very rudimentary belief, a person who might be watching this video now, of thinking oh, I'm a body sitting in a chair, watching my television, watching this interview of Chuck and Chris, how do you take them to the point where they establish that what they are is not an object at all? Well, I'd, I would invite the people watching to consider the possibility that you are the very consciousness that you are seeking, that you are who you are looking for, and that if you sit there and start off at that place and say, okay, I am, I am what is. I am the, the pure consciousness. I am the consciousness and everything else emanates from me and that the center of the universe is within me and all of the rest of the stuff is, is coming out from me and that what I experience in the world is really a reflection of who I am and that it's, it's the part of me that I'm saying is not me and yet it is me. Mm -hmm. This is who I say is me. Everything else out there is what I say is not me. But both of those, is there a higher truth yet? One mm -hmm. that encompasses both of those, just like joy encompasses both happiness and unhappiness. Mm -hmm. So, and, and to, to walk down that path, I think starts off with, well, who am I? Am I my, um, the labels that I give myself? Am I a son? Am I a father? Am I a brother? Am I an uncle? And to cut through all of that until you finally come up with, I've run out of answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, go to the other side of, I've run out of answers <laughs> and well, see what's there. I would suggest to you that our viewers would say, yes, I am the son. Yes, I am the father. Yes, I am the job. What would you say to them? Well, in a sense, they are. But I like to insert one simple little word between all of that. And when somebody the other day was saying, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know I've, I've really kind of gotten into the space that I recognize that I am God. Mm -hmm. And I go, well, that sounds very solipsistic, it mm -hmm. sounds megalomaniacal. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing, I asked this person, to insert is in there mm -hmm. and say, I am is God. Mm -hmm. And they went, oh, yeah, that's a whole different thing than yeah. saying I am God because that's mm -hmm. the historical ego mm -hmm. self that they identify right. with. But if you say I am is God, you can take that is and, and apply that in many, mm -hmm. many different ways. Mm -hmm. You could say, I am is sad. Mm -hmm. I am is angry. I am is tired. I am is hungry. I am is, that, that lends a whole different aspect to it because suddenly it's an acknowledgement and a recognition that I am is, that's, that's what is. It's when you say I am and then fill in the blank with something other than mm -hmm. is, you know, that's when you get the problems because right. now all of a sudden you've locked yourself in just saying this is who I am mm -hmm. genetically, DNA-wise. It's a contraction. Mm -hmm. Yes. So to the audience out there who's saying, well, I certainly am this body, would you say that consciousness is contained within the body? Well, it certainly seems like, you know, you are the body, but where does the body go when you are asleep and not dreaming? Mm -hmm. Does the body disappear? Well, as I pointed out in the book, you know, uh, you've set it up in such a way so that the whole dream and this, this dance that you're doing seems to have gone on during the very hours that you've been sleeping. Because if it didn't, if you stopped and pressed the pause button <laughs> for eight hours and then come back, you'd catch on too quickly, you see? <laughs> so you have to pretend like all these eight hours has gone on before. And, and then it unfolds that, that way. So I, I kind of liken it to a spider making a web. Mm. The spider creates this beautiful web and then the spider can actually, at least some spiders can withdraw the web into their own body. So they, they spin it out, play on it, and then withdraw it into their body only to recreate it again in mm -hmm. the morning and I'm suggesting that maybe this is what we do. This mm -hmm. is what you do mm -hmm. because in truth, there is no we, there's only you <laughs> who is experiencing that, so maybe that's what you do. So in the morning, you, you wake up and instantly you recreate this wonderful, wacky world of duality as a web and it seduces you into all of the stuff and it seems like all the stuff has gone on without you while you were sleeping, but it really hasn't. You've recreated it. So you withdraw it and you recreate it create it and destroy it back and forth and back and forth. And, and that's, I'm, I'm not saying it's true and I certainly don't want people to, quote, believe me. I don't want you to trade in your beliefs for what you think are my beliefs. It's not about belief. But go there, take a look, and maybe at the very least, take the position 
that you are that pure consciousness. You are consciousness and you are creating all of that. Just take the position that that's so and then look back into your life and see what insights show up as a result of you having taken that position. Mm -hmm. But take that stand. I think that uh, Greg Good says, standing as awareness. You right. stand as awareness. You stand as consciousness. Mm -hmm. You take that stand and then look out and see what, what insights show up as, as a result of that.